everyone. Welcome to your New Hope Kids online experience. My name's Addie. And I'm Warren. Nice to see you guys. And we're so excited for you to join us today. Mr. Warren, do you remember the big word for this month? Uh, I think it's forgiveness. It is. If you guys at home remember what forgiveness means, go ahead and say it with me. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Guess what? Forgiveness is definitely something that you want to have on your tool belt because you don't want to walk around all day mad with the grumpy frumpy face. Feel me? So. That's so true. And forgiveness is like a DIY project. You get to choose to forgive. No one can make you, not your mom, not your dad, not your leaders, not your grandma. Nobody can make you to choose to forgive. You get to choose on your own. But you don't have to do it by yourself. I don't? No. God's ready to stand with you to help forgive others. Oh, Jesus. I know. <laughs> now, I'm ready to learn more about all this forgiveness stuff. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Are you ready? <laughs> hey, New Hope Kids. Before we do anything else, we're going to go over our rules of being good. Now, if you know them, go ahead and say them with me. Starting with rule G. Rule G stands for give your attention to the person with the mic. Now, in a few minutes, you guys are getting ready to hear an awesome word. So we wanna make sure that your eyes and your ears are open and ready to receive what we have for you. Next is rule O. Now, O stands for only have good character. That means that we want you to be on your best behavior and being super respectful, just like you are in New Hope Kids. The next O stands for open your mouth during praise and worship. New Hope Kids, did you know that God is everywhere you go and you can worship him wherever you go? I know you guys aren't here at church, but you're in the living room and God is there with you. So go ahead and worship with us. The last rule is rule D. D stands for don't be a space invader. That means that your hands and your feet are to yourselves and you're not popping your neighbor's bubbles. That also means if you pick your neighbor's nose, you have to eat it. Ew! Well, now that we know our rules, it's time to stand to our feet and get ready for worship. Bam, 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 bam.
It's so good to be here today. Last week, we talked about a parable that Jesus told, but we didn't get a chance to finish it. So today, that's what we're going to do. The religious leaders, also known as Pharisees, were grumbling about Jesus because he loved everyone, not just the people that followed the rules. Jesus knew exactly what the Pharisees were thinking. They thought they were better than everyone else because they followed the rules. So Jesus told the story of the man and his two sons. Last week was the first part, so let's recap. Let's go ahead and welcome in our actors and get ready for Total Drama Rama. Previously on the story of the lost son. Father, give me my share of the family property. Why, son, why? All right. Yay! Party, 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 party. Oh no, my money ran out and I have to feed these pigs while I'm starving. I'm so hungry I could eat the pig slop. Wait, I've got an idea. 
I'll go to my father and beg him for mercy. Is that my son in the distance? Yay! Let's throw a party for my lost son's return. So, although the younger son wasted all of his money and his father welcomed him back and forgave him, it seems like the perfect ending to a happy story. But Jesus wasn't done telling the story yet. As you remember, there was the older brother. The father's older son was working in the fields. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound in the distance. Wait, what's that noise? Are they having a party over there? The older son was confused. Why would they be having a party? He called for a servant to see what was going on. Yoo-hoo! Luke 15, 27, we see that the servant says, Your brother has come home. Your father has killed the fattest calf. He's done this because your brother is safe and sound. His lost brother had finally come home, but the older son didn't see that was a reason to celebrate. That's whack. I'm so mad at my dad, I'm not going in there. So the father came out and begged the older son to come join the party. Look, all these years I've always obeyed your orders. You never gave me even a young goat so I could celebrate with my friends. But this son of yours wasted your money. Now he comes home. And for him, you kill the fattest calf? The father explained, it wasn't that he didn't love the older son. He just was so happy that the younger son had come home. My son, everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad. This brother of yours was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. Wow, that was so good and so dramatic. Thanks for joining us for Total Drama Rama. Let's give it up for our actors. And that's where the story ends. It doesn't really tell us that the older son listened to his father. It's up to us to imagine that for ourselves. Hmm, I wonder if the older brother went and celebrated. I wonder if he gave up the jealousy and the hurt he felt. I wonder if he chose to forgive. Or did he stay outside and stay mad at his brother because he didn't think he deserved that party? It can be tough to forgive, but if we're being honest, we all mess up and we all need forgiveness. It's just an amazing way for us to realize that we want to treat others the way we want to be treated. When people experience God's love and forgiveness for themselves, that's a reason to celebrate. God wants us to experience the joy of being forgiven and he wants us to be happy for people that have been forgiven. So let's take this time and pray and ask God to help us with forgiveness. Bow your heads. God, I thank you so much for your son and him dying on the cross for our sins. We thank you for the relationship that we get to have with you. God, I ask in times where we're having a hard time forgiving friends and people around us that have hurt us, that we would look to you and you would give us the strength we need to forgive other people. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive, just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3.13 Hey guys, if you'd like to ask Jesus in your heart today, let's do that together right now. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Please come into my heart and be in charge of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, New Hope Kids, who's ready to play a game? Oh, yeah, I am so ready. What game are we playing today? We're going to be playing a game called Total Drama Rama Trivia. Awesome. How does that work? So we're going to be asking you guys a few trivia questions about everything that we've learned this month. And if you know the answer, shout it out or put it in the comments and get everybody in your family involved to make it a competition. Good luck! <laughs> Week one. What did the first servant owe the king? A, seven camels. B, $100. C, 
10,000 bags of gold or D, a giraffe. You guys have 10 seconds. It's not D, it's not B, it's not A, that's right, it's C, 10,000 bags of gold. For week two, Zacchaeus was A, very tall, B, a wee little man, C, ugly, or D, a giraffe. A wee little man. From week four, what did the younger son ask his dad? A, can you help me rake the yard? B, can I have my share of the family property? C, can you buy me a new toothbrush? Or D, why is the sky blue? And the answer is B. Can I have my share of the family property? And from today, what happens when you don't forgive? A. Nothing happens. B. You become happier. C. You make more friends. Or D. You miss out on the good things. All right, you've got 10 seconds. You're right, the answer is D. You miss out on the good things. Good, good job, job guys. guys. Thanks for playing Total Drama Rama Trivia. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. You know, it's really hard to have a strong and real relationship when we choose not to forgive others. That's true because I think I've messed up plenty of times. Miss Addy, have you messed up? I've messed up. Oh man, we've hurt people, we've let people down. But that's why it's so important for us to choose forgiveness. It not only helps our relationship with God, but it helps our relationship with others. That is so true because, yeah, we don't want to let people down and hurt them anymore. So it's so important. It's so important that we forgive. And that brings us straight to our bottom line. When you don't forgive, you, you miss, miss out. out.